a real quick little workbench tip here, something I've been noodling with on the side. I've always wanted to basically enclose the 12 volt power supply I had. You know, that's the power supply. I bought it at Jamaco. I'll give you the item number in a moment. It's just a 12 volt supply that I use here at the bench. Uh, but it was always kind of annoying because I had to, you know, find a place for it and pull it out. And I always had to find the leads for it. And I wanted to put it in, the, in some kind of box or mount it perhaps somewhere near the workbench. Uh, just so I had it handy. So what I decided to do, since I'm going to be doing some train shows coming up soon, I'm going to be selling some of my previous uh, craftsman structure buildings. They're all lighted, and I wanted something to take with me to the show to light them up. So what I did was I took this power supply, and that power supply, it's a 12-volt, 4.2 amp, and I'll, get, I'll put the information down below, but uh, I bought it at Jamico, item number 2104209. It's an NES 50-12. Now, if you Google NES 50-12 power supply, they'll pop up. They're available a lot of different places. That's the one I used, 4.2 amps. That's plenty for what I'm doing. They have other sizes, so if you wanted something a little bit, a little bit bigger, you certainly could get them larger than the 4.2 amps, 50.4 watts. But that was adequate for me. And then I decided to add an illuminated rocker because I wanted I wanted it to light so I knew that it was on and then basically just brought the leads outside and hooked it up to some Radio Shack test leads that I cut and put a crimp connector on one end so pretty simple project uh, the, the project case is from Radio Shack it's a 7 by 5 by 3 and that is a 270-1807 you can see it's 974. Oh, the power supply was about 17 bucks. See the price for that. Uh, the rocker I used, and there's a lot of different 125 volt rockers. Um, this is the one again. It's from Radio Shack, and the actual part number is a 2750692 single pole, single throw illuminated rocker. But there's plenty of choices for that, and you don't, you don't have to go illuminated if you don't want to. Um, this is pretty nice. It comes with an aluminum top cover, I'll call it, or it has a plastic cover, which is the one that I used. And uh, so that's the internals. I did cut a micarta board to mount to the standoffs down below with number four hardware to actually screw the power supply to so it's not sliding around inside the box. Mounted it up, drilled out the holes for the, for the rocker, for a grommet here in the back, a quarter inch grommet just to kind of act as a little bit of a strain relief to help the control the power cord coming in. A two-point uh, terminal board and the holes for the wires coming out. I used number 18 wire inside, didn't have to. I mean, at 4.2 amps, there's, I, mean, I probably could have gone with, uh, well, I guess 18 is probably a good, a good uh, wire size for that. And uh, the way it looks from the front, so there's the front, and uh, you can see if I turn it on. Okay, you get the illuminated rocker, so I know that it's on. And to check the voltage, I'll just turn on our little voltmeter on here. 12 volts. It is adjustable. Now there is a little, I'm going to have to go back up there. Right next to the green LED, a little, see that little pot there, that's adjustable. It's adjustable over the range. Well, hold on. Let me get a let me get a screwdriver, and I'll show you the adjustability. Okay. So with my handy dandy high tech voltage adjusting tool, you go into that pot, and you can swing this from if I go all the way, boop 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 boop. Uh, so about ten point three volts. Then I go the other way. You can take it up to about I thought it was like thirteen eight. Yeah, thirteen point eight. So you have a you know a couple volt adjustability range if you wanted to for any reason. Again, I set it right at about twelve volts because usually I'm checking you know light bulbs and and that kind of stuff. So I figured twelve volts is good. I try to get it. Right. It's a uh, eh, how's that? Twelve point one, close enough. All right. So that's the that's the power supply. 
And I just wanted to kind of show that quick if uh, anyone's interested. Maybe let me put the top on and we'll show you what it looks like uh, all assembled. All right, so there's the cover on it. Again, I used the plastic cover, although it does come with a, a small or a thin aluminum cover as well. Of course, I had to have it labeled officially to make it look really, really important. So there you go. I like it. Um, the one thing I'm thinking of maybe doing at some point, I did buy a little, I think, 0 to 30 volt DC um, meter. You know, maybe mounting that there and then maybe drilling a hole right about here. Uh, so for adjustability, so I could kind of get in there and adjust it without having to take the cover off. But I don't see adjusting it a whole lot. And it certainly isn't hard to just turn it on. Go to your meter and say, oh, yeah, look at that, 12 volts. So uh, this might be something that I do if I get really bored at some point in time. But I do have the meter for it. All right, so that's it. <clears throat> and again, just um, the power supply, it is uh, over current, over voltage, over temperature protected. I know that because at one point in time, I accidentally did short it out and it just shut itself off and then turned itself back on. So that's good. So there's the... Might be a little hard to see, but there's the, the... I just had a two-point terminal block that I just had. Turn it off, and I'm retouching it. Um, and it's got it labeled for 12 volts, and I said I got these test leads on it. Right now, that just kind of come out to alligator clips at the end. But again, it's kind of nice. You know, it's it's uh, a good size. I'm probably going to set it right here on the workbench so I have it handy. And then I can just turn it on when I need it. When I go to the train shows, I'm going to light up buildings, and I'll just kind of run some wires off of this and go to the lights and everything. But it's uh, at least a little more contained, you know, for traveling, for taking it with me. Or even on the layout, if you ever need to go out there with 12 volts and test something for whatever reason. So, all right, there you go. A little handy. Uh, I can't really say I made a power supply. I'll say I made an enclosure for a power supply. How's that? So, there you go. A little uh, workshop tip for folks that might want to do something similar. Thanks for watching, everybody.